Hey guys, I'm back today with a new plate. This is To Love or Not To Love from Hit The Bottle. And it is my favorite Valentine's plate ever. Okay, just ever. Because not only does it have Valentine's stuff, but it has stuff for if you're not really feeling Valentine's or if you're feeling like you want Valentine's with a little edge. So I love love. I love falling in love. I think that's all cool. You guys have heard my stuff before. But at the same time, I'm not like girly hearts, cutesy, pink kind of you know this that's not my favorite thing in the world so I love it when I have a little bit of options to play with something very cool for for Valentine's Day so like for example barbed wire hearts seriously how cool are barbed wire hearts and then you've also got just some regular barbed wire there to go along with them so but before I get ahead of myself let me just say all right so um, Michelle has just recently started coming out with plates and um, I think they're very cool. She, they, I love the the blend of the types of images that she gives to you. Like I was saying about, you know, the, having a little bit more edge. Uh, her other, her, her, her previous plates that I've seen had the same thing. Um, so she goes, uh, not only does she go for a variety of images, but she also gives you mix and match possibilities. Um, so let me go th walk you through some of that as well. So like for example, this is gorgeous It's this beautiful kind of like filigree work on there Absolutely beautiful and then of course you've got your little, you know barbed wire hearts and then like over here you've got your um, Like this is like mesh hashing with the hearts taken out, but then down here you've got the hashy hearts right and you've got the barbed wire like I just showed you and you've got this little heart here that matches up with that. So if you want to do like just one or two on one nail or you know and, and you want to do a full nail um, look on that on it on your other nail stuff like that. So all of these images here I think she um, she gives you stuff that you can play around with without working too hard you know without having to think about it too too hard. Uh, so let me kind of keep going here. By the way, let me say about this. I think this one right here, um, for you American ladies that are watching, these remind me a little bit of the American flag. So you could go in there and you could reverse stamp this and do like red and black and have it actually have it stamped in white. And I think that would be the cutest like patriotic manicure ever. I love that her hearts, they don't say love you or whatever. They're like, meh, <laughs> get lost. <laughs> Can you not? That just makes me happy. I love that. I don't know. I mean, I guess I get. I I just love it. I love it. And this right here, which looks like some sort of gorgeous beaded jewelry with the hearts, or you know, hearts on pikes. Either way, it could be whatever you need it to be. I love it. Oh, and I should say that these are layering images, so you can stamp your heart here in whatever color, and then stamp over it in your little conversation heart. Heart, the heart taken out of the wood, like the wood grain. First of all, how cute would this be to just like put like M plus B or whatever, whoever, whatever initials your your initials you and your sweethearts are in there. Super cute. Um, you could do that just by hand or with an alphabet plate. I love that. But I also love this goes really cool with these. I think those kind of go well together because this matches the wood grain. So you could mix and match those. Um, I love this. This looks like little buds to me. The hearts are like little um, buds. Like, you know, like when, when your flowers first start blooming in your garden or they first start growing out of the ground. Or um, my grandfather had an oak tree with these like seed pods that you could split open and he would split them open and they kind of look like little hearts. But then he would put them on my nose and OK, yes, I guess I had a strange relationship with my grandfather, but it reminds me of that, too. And that's a good memory. So there you go. Uh, steam punk. OK, the hearts and the keys. OK, that's that's pretty traditional. Um, you know, you could use that for a lot of stuff. But. She's got these cool steampunky hearts as well. And the full nail images here as well. How cool would that be? You can mix and match all of this, this with the keys and the locks. This, I think that is so cool. I love steampunk. And right there, like it doesn't matter what colors you use. That is the coolest Valentine's manicure you're ever going to want to make. This, I think, is just, I mean, it's just gorgeous. Like it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to be anything. You could have that coming down off your nail in, you know, the, like the coolest 
uh, French tip ever. You could have the bottom coming up from your moon. You could have just the half of this coming over onto your nails. So you've got those kind of spikes coming across your nails. Super versatile. I love that. Love, love, love. Okay. And then you've got a little filigree kind of scribbly heart, a little bit more traditional if that's what you're feeling this year. Um, and I also think that that goes well with these little scribblies here. I think that would be super cute. So you've got an instant gorgeous manicure um, in no time fly, if you want to mix and match, I love this. I think you could mat, you could mix and match this with the with the steampunk. I think it does go. It also has a 1980s feel for me. So doing playing around with this with 1980s colors, I think would be really super cool. Um, and this is like heart flowers or like heart embroidery. That's super cute. I think that matches up with a lot of the different styles on here. Um, you could do it with the filigree again. You could mix and match it with this one up here. I think that could be really cute. Um, I personally would mix and match it with this one, which has hearts and skulls, which again, just absolutely hits <laughs> my Valentine aesthetic. I love it. I think that's the best thing ever. You know I'm going to use that. Look at how cool these are. So these are like, to me, they look like owls. They look like owl, like heart-shaped owls. And I, I don't know if that's what she intended, but that's what I see, and I love it. And you could use those, you know, I would use these even like at Halloween time or fall to do just cute little owls or in with Halloween colors or fall colors. I think that would look super cute. But definitely, um, if you want to mix and match them with the hearts as well. I love this. It's got that sort of... Um, like a, a, a kicky stylized heart feel. I think this goes beautifully with this up here. I think it goes beautifully with the filigree here. I think it goes super cute with that. So lots of images on here that work together and I love that she put that thought in for that. The broken hearts, of course. Like to me, I feel like every Valentine's plate needs a broken heart plate because sometimes Valentine is just not going well. And it's not even necessarily that you broke up with somebody, but man, maybe you just wanna make a statement and be just like, I'm not feeling it this year. And I think you deserve the right to do that. This image, Valentine's or not, is just amazing. So it, it's like peacock feathers that are sort of heart-shaped, but it's like this chain of beautiful, intricate peacocky feathers. And it, that's just gorgeous any time of year. I do not care what time of year. Um, a little bit more of swirlies and hearts. A little bit different stylistically than that, but I think like you could do an accent nail with this and do this on the rest of your nails, and that would be absolutely adorable. <laughs> the words here. Eh, you, meh. It's not you, it's me. If only. <laughs> Just, again, I won't keep going off about it, but it makes me happy. All right, and then down in the center, you've got your little owl. You've got your conversation hearts. You've got your, um, I wonder, I bet you, you could, I think you could use this. You could layer this over this. So it's looking like it's the same size to me. So I bet you, if you wanted to do a background color for this, you could use that easily. I'm going to test that out for you. Stupid Cupid. Because like I say, not every year things aren't necessarily going well every year. Single and loving it. I think that is a perfectly good sentiment to be having on Valentine's Day. And I love that it's there. This is just a gorgeous image. I don't care what, when, how. Um, and would that go? Let's take a look. Would that go with that one? Oh, a little bit different stylistically. But definitely you could put this with the filigree kind of stuff. Love the key and your love is the key. So for the years when, you know, you really want to celebrate your partner, there you go. Um, so yeah, so clearly I love the variety of this. I love that there's just a little bit of a different edge and a different set of options with this plate. All right, so let me go do a few test swatches for you and I will be right back. All right, so here's the first look. I layered those curly cues over, uh, and then uh, on top of that, the broken hearts, and I used, uh, I was able to use Hit the Bottle Polish in Moonshine and Shadows of Darkness, and I love it when I am able to use polishes by the same maker as the plates. And then my the second look, I love this. This is Drop Red Gorgeous, and oh, I just love how it pops there. That's gorgeous, and I love that image something I don't know I love how that image looks in red and then my final look here which I, I wanted to test out and see if that heart did fit behind the steampunk heart and it does you can layer that um, and I love how cute that looks so that's um, that's a fun little steampunky look there and also super quick here are uh, here's some of that barbed wire there on that nail on that hand and then here are the cool skeletons and hearts on that one. All right, I love this plate. I love these looks. I think you can do a lot of fun stuff, whether you want to go edgy or just, you know, normal and cute. 
lots of possibilities so check it out and thank you for watching